It was a, a great game, I think, for us today and just a really, really good team win. So I was excited for the girls. We had good rotations. It felt like everybody got to contribute. Um, so enjoy it today and prepare for Richmond starting tomorrow. Coach, your first time over 100 points since 2014, most points since 2008. Give me your impression of your offense today. Um, I think the team did a really good job. A couple of different things. I think our, our defense generated a lot of our offense, uh, just turned them over quite a bit. Um, I thought we did a really good job of sharing the basketball when they went to the zone. We tried our best to play inside and outside. I thought we did a really good job with that. So I just thought we had really good ball movement. I think we had 25 assists on 40 baskets. And so just a, I think our defense generating a lot of our offense and just sharing the basketball. And uh, Joss, another big game for you, your first career 20 point game. What's been clicking you for you in the first two games of the season? I think uh, for me, just sorry. I think for me, just um, being confident in my own, own abilities and um, remaining aggressive. I feel like my teammates, you know, if I'm not knocking down my shots, like yesterday was a great shooting day for me. But still, um, on the defensive end, getting charges or block shots or just being there. And I think as a team, we really pick each other up um, when one part of our game is sort of down that day. I mean, you know, it's kind of a coach's dream when you get to sit down most of the game and not have to stand up. So I felt like I just got to relax and enjoy it a little bit. But, you know, we put a lot of effort. The girls have put a lot of effort and onus into this team this year. And um, I think it's kind of feeding off of what Joss said, they're just they, they're really out there playing for each other. And I think you can see it in their style of play. So again, I think that the reason for the points is we share the basketball. And I thought we generated turnovers. But the everything that goes prior to that happening is just laying a great foundation for this team and chemistry and, and just building a united front. And I think that's what they've really worked hard to do. Yeah, and um, just to build off of that, I think obviously it was a great win for us, but we don't want to grow complacent and still continuing to work in the next few days, especially preparing for the game against Richmond. Josh, your second straight game leading the team in scoring. Uh, how, was there anything different today coming into this game as opposed to the last game? Were you more comfortable in the locker room before the game, less nervous? No, I mean, I approach the game, each game pretty much the same way. Um, my goal is just to be aggressive, be physical, you know, pretty much do what I do. Um, and I think it worked well for me these past two games. Well, um, I mean, they've grown a lot even from the summer. You know, I think they're all four of them. I think they are very coachable. I think they have a great work ethic. Um, I think we, they've missed very few practices since the summer. Um, they're very engaged. They want to um, work hard. They have, um, I think, a great camaraderie with the upperclassmen. And I think the upperclassmen share that responsibility with leadership with them. So there's no jealousy. There's no, nothing like that. So I think they're allowing, the upperclassmen are allowing them to just flourish, you know. And um, again, as coaches, you're going to give players as much as they can handle. And they're proving that they can handle a lot. And again, we haven't been fully tested, but it's a great start for us to start building on some of that. Felicia, um, just talk about uh, how you're kind of progressing in, in now with two games under your belt. Uh, it seemed like you were pretty comfortable out there. 21 points, I think, in this one. Um, <clears throat> like like the, the game on Saturday, I was very nervous, and I usually was for every game. But um, everything was new, starting the game. Uh, locker room routines and everything and just getting used to it and coming to the second game I already know what's going to happen so I, I was I was more comfortable than I was the last game so yeah. and just to follow up with that um, you led the team in scoring tonight and had a double double um, you could see some of the blocks you made out there were awesome tonight you know it is only your second game but like you just mentioned is this kind of helping your confidence you know in just two games being that successful on the court Yes, it is, because um, now I know what I can do. I know um, the work that I've put in with Coach Fred is working out well for me. Um, so stepping on the court, I know the things that I need to do and things that I need to work on. And then, Coach, um, obviously five players scoring in double figures. I think there was three double-doubles. How nice is a coach, you know, just in the second game to realize that you have so many Weapons. different 
yeah. Yeah, different options and stuff. And I said that to him. I said it was a great team win for a lot of different reasons. But, you know, when you have five people average double figures on any given night, anybody can score. So it's just nice to have a lot of shared responsibility amongst them. And, um, you know, I'd much rather be in a situation like that than have somebody scoring, you know, all the points. I mean, I just think it's just a better feel and a better flow for us when that happens. So I don't know too many times you come out of games where three people average double doubles, but you know, we'll take every one we can get. Yeah, I think it. I think it's both. I think she was operating in a in a very comfortable um, zone for herself, and I think they were all good shots. And um, I didn't think she forced anything. And I think she was in a rhythm. Um, and I think she had great confidence just because of how the game was going, her role that that kind of um, how she fit into her role throughout the game.